South Africa is taking a, a huge leap. It's evolving so rapidly. Our dream is for South Africa to become a beacon of digital competitiveness in the world. Each and every girl from a rural area to an urban area would have access to ICT. From a young age, we are empowering these young girls to look at technology and STEM as an option. To make sure that South Africans do not become consumers in the fourth industrial revolution. And that women will have the same amount of opportunities as men do to pursue tech. We have the opportunity to get more girls excited about ICT. We're all headed in the right direction. We're all trying to make a disruption. We wanted to grow. We wanted to see also what's out there. And we're just here, we're really excited. We don't know how, if we're going to finish or what. So we are hosting the biggest all-female hackathon this weekend. Like, just imagine how cool that is. <laughs> imagine how many people are here, how many conversations you can have. That's just the experience. And obviously, I'd like to win. This is now something you're focusing on. You're now going to make a change. So this year, we are excited to announce that we are in three cities. Um, I am right here in Johannesburg, uh, 22 on Sloan. So we have these girls in these cool areas for 24 hours coding and coming up with solutions and competing for a chance to win a trip to Amsterdam. At 20 past 10, that's when your coding starts. So you've got now about 15 minutes to get yourselves into teams, to get yourself seated, and then we start coding. We've got volunteers walking around if you need anything else during the course of the weekend. We've got food, we've got, we've got you taken care of. What they presented must be something that addresses a new problem statement, but I think most importantly, it has to be relevant to South Africa. From the participants, you're looking for the kind of passion, purpose, and drive. Use double the amount of words that we're supposed to be using, and that's a big issue looking at recently what happened in Cape Town. We chose the wellness uh, problem, especially when it comes to good health. Uh, recently, we came across things such as uh, when it comes to the food that we eat, there has been a breakout in terms of the diseases that are contained within our food. Um, a lot of adults um, are not um, educated, like about 800 million. And, um, and two thirds of that 800 million, it's women. Decent work and economic growth. We actually took on everything. So we chose uh, UN Development, Sustainable Development Goal number two, which is zero hunger. So we've got a group of women all around that are focusing here to say we can solve the problems of the world. But we're going to start with South Africa, of course. One of the things I reminded all of the participants this morning about is to ensure, firstly, teamwork. It has to display that the ladies work together as a team. And, and then if there's anything else that you need, we've got mentors walking around with black shirts. A mentor is uh, someone that helps you with whatever your goals are. It's trying to help out the teams in case they need help with their ideas, formulating their ideas, uh, building something. We're not supposed to actually write any code for them or give them answers directly, but help them get to the answers themselves. So what we're demonstrating for the judges is a system that we created. This is hardware. We're using a sensor system to sense the soil humidity. We decided we would create a social mobile game application hybrid. Our app Greeny is an app that allows you to recycle and it helps you to help the environment in order to improve the healthcare. How it benefits our citizens is through this and work. What if we change the way you look at saving? Our app is an Android app, but in future we plan on making on Apple uh, products as well. It's a bot, list trainer and corpus to train the chatbots. Those are libraries in Python. You know, it's bad to waste water. And if you can maybe see how bad it is, maybe you can change the way you use it. Thank you. The third prize for today is SideQuest Edit. Runner-up is Tap for Change.
team number one is drum roll, please. Light bulbs. We're gonna take their video and we're gonna share it with the other judges. And then the judges are going to choose between the three cities who is going to Amsterdam. So I'm hoping for Joburg. <laughs> Like we feel shocked and we never knew that we could win this at, at all, honestly. The minute we get to campus, we're just going to take a couple of naps and then the next day tomorrow we're going to start working on the Raspberry Pi because we feel like there's a lot that can be done using hardware as a technological means to make the world a better place. So.